Yeah, it's still, it was a May 3rd. See all the water that's coming out of this main right here. This is the new main they put in about three days ago. And today, I think it's the first day they're tying lines into it. I think they took a late lunch or they had another breakdown, but yesterday when they had a breakdown, the guy in the excavator kept going. I think they took a late lunch, about one o'clock, break. Go and explore um, what they got done so far. The guy running the excavator yesterday, actually like a distant relative of mine, I guess. We figured it out when I introduced myself. Um, said he likes it when the guys that work the ground come over here and see what they're doing. Um, the way they're doing this field is that they're only doing the wet holes. So I don't know if you can see it or not. You probably can. Right there, the tip of my finger. That's the main. They can get really close without getting in the shadow. You can see it flowing out of there to beat the bandit. So they backhoed it over to go into that culvert, and that's a what is that culvert? Probably all of three feet. And she's running at least a third hole right now, and they haven't even. They brought six rolls of tile. There's one on the cart here. There's a half one on another cart at the other end, and they still got. Three total. Just following the main they put in. Ugh. Maybe it's all the same size. I'm sure it is. I don't know. Six inch, maybe. Four inch. I'm not sure. Bounce across here, but uh, we'll just go explore this field. If you remember, in case I didn't already say it in another video, or maybe you just start watching my videos. If you go back in the my other full videos, this is the one. There wasn't a pass in this field of the combine that we didn't make runs. We rutted this field all the way down. Ugh. Oh, nice. They went right through that low spot. Cut up. Nice. So this looks like six inch. Stop. Look at it in case you've never seen tile before. Oh, yeah, that's six inch. You can see the water would obviously flow on the inside, but um, here, 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 it's perforated tile, is what they call it. And uh, whenever it's flexible, see, it's flexible. Oops, I don't want to spin this too much. Uh, it's flexible, it can make turns, it can go up and down. I mean, obviously, they put it in at a grade so the water will flow, but uh, you know, this is enough where water will seep through, but it keeps the dirt out most of the time, most of the stuff. You can get more expensive stuff that has like a black sleeve, like a sock. Almost looks like a sock over the whole thing. Um, and that helps whatever keep the dirt out, only the water comes through, but it's more expensive. I don't, I don't, I, I'm not sure, maybe it gets plugged by dirt easier. I don't know. Yeah, they cut right up there from down by the excavator. That's always really wet. Let's just zoom in on the excavator. You guys saw that yesterday. It's like a Daswood? Daswood? Is that what it was? I don't even remember. Looks like a Kubota. I think they're all about the same. Kubota, Daswood, you know, Bobcat. They're probably very, 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 very similar. Like John Deere seems to have companies, smaller companies make their stuff, like their excavator that they used to at least. Or some of those are Bobcat. I don't remember what it was. And then they paint them John Deere, put a couple tweaks on them to make them John Deere. Whatever it works for them. Oh, this lineup, yeah, they came right through. Um, it took some outside footage of the combine splashing through a creek. Like a running water creek there. Yeah, they had the big uh, cat bulldozer. I've seen them when I was down digging with the 46. Cat bulldozer pulling the plow, and you can just see the standing water they were going through. It's just impressive. It, it's absolutely impressive. Come to play. We got it one wheel drive right now. We have to kick her down. Oh my goodness, they went right through that. How in the world, somebody, if you do tile work, explain to me how we would absolutely lose a tractor going through there. Maybe it's just because it has so much surface to the track that they're able to uh, float. But god dang, that thing's got to weigh 50,000 pounds, I bet. At least. Ooh, it came in on a triple axle low boy. 
thing's got to weigh at least 50,000 pounds. At least. At least. It's probably closer to 75,000 pounds. Those tracks can't be light. Our 8870 weighs 32,000 pounds, 31,000 something pounds. So that thing, man. Unbelievable, that'll be very nice. This looks nasty. Oh, this was a cat track. You see it's a track machine, like metal track machine that came through here. Oh, this one was their cart tractor, the loader front wheel assist case that's pulling that around. Wonder what happened. Oh, I bet you they're only doing the wet holes. I bet you that was the end of the line. Wow. Yeah, so if you've never, if you don't know how these work. It's called, I think they got a power feeder on this to help push the tile down through the plow. Down through and out. I was just reading an article the other night about if you just drive and it yanks itself in that you stretch the tile and it actually uh, obviously it decreases the strength of the um, tile by like what is it I think they're saying 20 30 percent so it's just one big plow they can interchange this piece to accept bigger tile if they need to they're saying they can plow up to 12 inch but um, it's quite the thing Dynapack is what it's called. Oh, it's the same as Malika Tiling. <laughs> I bet you this thing just screams when it's on. I'll have to try to come over here when they're putting a line in. But, uh, looks like they got, well, what do they got? Two partial, three, I don't know, they haven't even got, they brought a lot of tile over here. They said they were originally going to pattern tile at every 40 feet, but, you know, it would be lines every 40 feet, but that was like $1,300 an acre. And obviously that's, that's pretty good money for the landowner. It was going to be like $55,000 and, you know, it's hard for a landowner to commit. You know, he's not the one that's putting the crop in, but. You know, obviously, we'll improve the land and you know, we'll be able to get more land rent, but to get your return on that will take quite a bit. So, he opted just to go with like going through the wet holes. <clears throat> They're still gonna put a line parallel on the road all the way, I guess. But, uh, let's drive up over here. They're going, Ugh. maybe they're not gonna use all the tile now. I don't know when that guy decided to change his mind. We'll just take it to the next job. GP 
GPS. I don't know if you can see it on the plow or not anymore. Maybe you'll be able to see it when you go back. But hey, Ken, right at the very tip top, the tallest thing on the plow, there's a white little globe. I'm sure what that's doing is, you know, mapping probably for them too. But most importantly, elevation change. Um, so they know. So they know. Oh boy, oh boy. That they're making a grade that the water's gonna flow and not get hung up. They're not making a U, they're not making it go like this, they're not making it go like this, the water sits, but so when they have the main, the main's going this way, they'll cut it, and this will actually lay on end and point out. And they'll be able to tie a line into the main. You know, it looks like it goes from six inch down to four inch, you know, four inch laterals off of a six inch main. check back in when I get over there. So they actually went right down this waterway. Well, it wasn't supposed to be a waterway, but it looks like a waterway. This is cattails. It looks like cattails just because it grew so bad with all the water was in it last summer. Um, they did get okay to, to do this for the soil and water conservation uh, group. So don't let anybody freak out. Everything's okay. Uh, there's a section over on the other side of this ditch over here that they were not okay to do. And they obviously aren't gonna do it. I bounced across that. I probably wouldn't have been able to hang on to you guys. <laughs> Four wheel drive's a wonderful thing. Oh, they lost one of their tees. I'll pick it up for them. This looks like a four inch tee. Maybe I can explain it a little better. Let's see. So this was your main. Mine I just made. You cut it, you know, and snap, clip, and then you clip your main in, and you plow away and put as far as you wanted to go. Water to be able to tie in. Bring that back over to their stuff. Let's see what this trench looks like. They were okay to do this. Well, they didn't go in the in the thing. They went alongside of it, but they were. Uh, Clean it out. Oh yeah, he's got it going pretty good. It's a long way to dig. But uh, yeah, that's that. I'll uh, see what happens. Maybe the ones they they get going again. We'll try to get a video. 